get ready for the biggest announcement in Taylor Swift's career. The crowd erupts in thunderous applause as Taylor Swift announces 1989, Taylor's version. Taylor Swift's fans received the surprise of their wildest dreams at her final Los Angeles Eras tour show on Wednesday. During the acoustic portion of her show, the pop superstar, who had sported new costumes in various blue hues, the color palette of her 2014 album 1989, throughout the evening, announced the upcoming October 27th re-release of her first Grammy-winning pop album. The last time that I was so pleasantly surprised by some stuff that you guys did was when I announced that I was going to be re-recording. That was something that I expected to be just a me thing, just a personal thing. Since I was a teenager, I wanted to own my music, Swift said on stage. The way to do it was to re-record my albums, and the way that you have embraced, that you have celebrated, that you really decided that it was your fight too, and that you were 100% behind me. I will never stop thanking you for that. And so now, here we are on the last night of the US Light of the Year's tour in the 8th month of the year on the 9th day. You might have noticed there are some new outfits in the show. There's something that I've been planning for a really, really, really ridiculously, embarrassingly long time, and instead of telling you about it, I think I'll just sort of show you," she said, unveiling the cover art and release date for 1989, Taylor's version, on the big screen before launching into New Romantics, a fan-favorite track off the deluxe edition of her record. Minutes later, Swift shared some more details about the upcoming release on her Instagram account. To be perfectly honest, this is my most favorite re-record I've ever done because the five, from the vault tracks are so insane," she wrote. I can't believe they were ever left behind. But not for long. Earlier in the night, the singer joked with the audience that they would have to deal with my emotions surrounding her final show on the current run of her tour. I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but I have a lot of them, she said. So here's why, this has been the most extraordinary, fun, wonderful, magical experience of my entire life being on this tour with these people on this stage. After singing champagne problems at the piano during the evermore portion of the show, Swift drew a deafening eight-minute-long standing ovation from her fans.